all night I could have danced all night and still have begged for more. Oh, did you see Dancing with the Stars? Wasn't that lovely? My father used to dance with me when he came home from work. I may have told this story before. Oh, once or twice. Mm -hmm. And then he picked me up and he twirled me around. <laughs> And then when I got taller, he would have you stand on his shoes. He'd have me stand on his shoes. <laughs> oh, and a bright and cheery good morning to you. Oh, Marge, Marge, I think you would enjoy watching these beautiful young people dancing. Oh, well, maybe if I had cable. Or a computer. It's on the computer, you know. I may be forced to work on one of those things here in the office, but there's no law forcing me to do so at home. What a beautiful morning. It is so warm and sunny. It's amazing how miserable you can be first thing in the morning. Warm? It's already 7.45 a.m. and it's hotter than the hinges of hell. Oh, come on. It's only 90 degrees and the weather report says it won't be the hinges of hell until about 3 p.m. <laughs> <sighs> I hope we get some good letters, otherwise you're going to have to write a few. Why don't you let people submit their letters on email? For the same reason I refuse to read my books on a piece of metal. It's oh. not natural. But it's just fine to drive around in a gas-guzzling pile of crap. You know I drive a Prius. All right, a Prius. And I don't see you riding your bike to work when it's 100 degrees in the shade. Come on, Marge, you print the paper on modern machines. I do not. All right, Danny Young does in his print shop, but you know what I mean. This is a good one. Anna Lee Contreras is complaining about the tire recycling place. She thinks they're harboring illegal bees. Is that really what it says? <laughs> well, she's complaining about the tire place for some reason. What does she have against recycling? Well, <clears throat> the ugliness of the tires. The stink of the tires. Oh, I know, it must be the bees in her bonnet. The ants in her pants! <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of recycling, oh dear. just how many of those slide rules do you have left? A million? All right, 10,000. I have my daddy's slide rules, just like you have your father's teaching you to dance. Well, he might as well have left you manure. <laughs> now, that is an important commodity in the desert. Well, there's certainly plenty of manure in this office. <laughs> when our society has completely destroyed <laughs> itself and there's no more electricity, people will appreciate a return to basics and they will need slide rules again. That's right. When the sun burns out and we can no longer use our solar calculators. <laughs> Hello, I'm Brandy Williams. Um, we're not really open yet. Oh, did you want to place an ad? You know, we're not set up to do that online yet. It's about the ad. I'm here about the job that you advertised. Um, here. <laughs> I printed it out. I know I'm a little early. Jobs available. Have you been out of work for over six months? We are offering something a little out of the ordinary. A chance to help a small town newspaper grow. We need someone for advertising sales, willing to work hard, good pay, great benefits. <laughs> oh, do not reply by email or phone. Interviews on Wednesday morning, the 23rd, 8 a.m. sharp. I know I'm a little early and that it's only the 21st, but when I show up on the right day, usually there are hundreds of people in line waiting, even in places like this. So... I thought I'd show up early, and you'd see how much I want the job. Who would do this to us? Neither one of us uses the internet that well. Well, it must be some kind of joke. What do you mean a joke? Well, I mean neither one of us placed this ad anywhere, did we? Well, don't look at me. I stay away from those dating sites. Oh, <laughs> it's not a dating site. It's Craigslist. Oh, good lord, 
didn't somebody get killed on Craigslist? Oh my god! I heard about this. I mean, people in line have told me, but I didn't think out here in the um Bitch? desert. I figured, oh boy, I guess I figured wrong. Someone must have a grudge against someone, or is playing a mean practical joke. They place a help wanted ad, no email, no phone, you just show up like a cattle call. If what it says here is true, there could be hundreds of people just like you here on Wednesday. What are we going to do? Sometimes there's even riots. I hate that computer. Young lady. Brandy. Brandy. What can we do? Is there anything you can do to help us? I can try. Oh, please. Oh, I hope she can fix it, whatever the problem is. Who would have a grudge against us? Who wasn't? Anna Lee, who hates your, your talk about the bees in her bonnet. How does she know what I say? Oh, Marge, you print it every other week. She's just too sensitive. Oh, and how about your dear ex-husband, who hates your vociferous views on the waterboard, of which he is the head? But these people have hated me for years. Why now? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they got a new computer. Oh. <laughs> there. I've notified Craigslist that this is a fraudulent posting and the ad has been removed. Emails are being sent to everyone who looked at the site. So it's all taken care of. And there won't be a thousand people here on Wednesday? <laughs> no riots. Oh. Maybe just a few people who won't get the chance to read their email, but I'm pretty sure you'll be okay. Um, look, I'm good with a computer and I've done sales work before. Not so fast, honey. There's still no job. There never was a job. Why, Sherry here makes all of $50 a month, and that's just to cover her gas. Which it doesn't cover anymore. And I bring home a grand total of $1 a year. There's just enough in our budget to cover the printing costs, and, well, we were just able to get that computer. And that was my idea. So you see, young woman, there is no job. It's my own fault. I should have done more checking. It's just that, well, I have two kids to feed, and my unemployment is about to finish. And I thought that even if this wasn't a high paying job, maybe this area might be cheaper to live in than Barstow. You came all the way from Barstow? I used the gas and electric money to pay for the gas just to get here. I would have hitchhiked if I thought I'd have a chance. Oh boy, I guess a year without work really makes you desperate. And the ad did say that people who have been unemployed for over six months should apply. Gosh, I guess they really got me. Oh dear, would you like some coffee or juice? Um, thank you, just some water please. That'll be ten dollars for the what? water. <laughs> That's just an old desert joke. Here's a nice cold glass of water, it's no charge. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe she should be on the water board. Look, you seem like an intelligent young woman, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about me and about this place. My daddy always used to say that nothing on earth should ever be wasted. He said that life's like this desert. Nothing's ever wasted in the desert. I grew up here. And I learned the value of this. Some people think I'm crazy that I should have taken my 10,642 slide rolls and dumped them in the trash years ago. But I haven't, because I believe that someday there will be a use for them. So I recycle everything. I save everything. Why well, I've been chewing the same piece of gum for seven days. Oh, that's way too much information. Don't interrupt. I'm telling you this because I want you to know that everything I do here is to promote recycling. There's just enough in the budget to meet my goals and I cannot, no, I will not be deterred from my dreams. So when I tell you that there is no job for you or anyone else that comes through that door. I mean precisely that. Is that clear? Maybe you want to go down to City Hall and check their job postings. Thank you. I, I'd be happy to cover your gas. That won't be necessary. Suit yourself. A lot of great
appropriate reasons to say no to me. But I want you to think about this. Here I am, a young woman who has spent the entire last week preparing to come down here to try to get this job. I have an entire notebook of my work that you never even looked at. Here. Now, you may have never have had any intention of hiring anyone for this job, but maybe this is one of those times. What if I hadn't come here today? What if hundreds of people had shown up for this job that doesn't exist? What if there had been a riot? What if someone had done worse than this on your computer? Maybe this happened so that I can be here now for this newspaper. You need advertisers, I need to work. What if I split the money with you 50-50 for any work that I bring in? For a website I designed for you, you have nothing to lose. Young woman, what about the word no? Do you not understand? <laughs> The part that looks at me and can't see that I am as important as all of your mottos and beliefs and, and, and papers that save trees. What about saving me? What about recycling a human being who has a lot of value left? What can be wrong with that? What about recycling me? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say something wrong? No, honey. You said something just right. Her daddy, the one with all the slide rules, he always used to say that people were the most important commodity. When you forget that, you ought to go out in the desert for a minute to think. You have six months to put together a website and get some advertising for it. But that'll be 40% for you. I will cover your gas, though. That's six months, not a day longer. <coughs> so don't ask, because I never change my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going, Marge? Out to the desert to think for a bit. I'll be back. While I'm gone, maybe you can get started on that website. I'd be glad to. <laughs> Oh, and I thank you. Don't push it. <laughs> Here you go, Randy. Oh, thank you. Aunt Sherry. Oh, you better not tell me that when she's around. Oh, you were right. She didn't remember me. Oh, why should she? I'm just an honorary auntie. Oh, I guess I was worried she might remember my mom. Oh, they barely knew each other. And your mama, she moved you out of here when you were, what, 11, 12? A girl changed a lot in 18 years. Oh, and by the way, that acting you did in L.A. really helped. I didn't think you were going to get it in about the recycling, but you got it in just right. <laughs> Thank you, Aunt. I mean, just plain old Sherry? Well... <laughs> I may be Sherry, and I certainly am old, but I am not plain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love you, Aunt Sherry, and I thank you. You're oh. welcome, darling. <laughs> you know, I have to admit that Craigslist was a great idea. How did you think of it, and how did you know it would work? Well, I'm not just a fan of these dancing and reality shows. I like the police stuff, too. Lots of good ideas. And as far as Marge going along with everything, well, it's like that old commercial about laxatives. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to give nature a nudge. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Boy, you know, this office really hasn't changed since I was a kid. And I always wondered what this thing was. That, my dear girl, is a slide rule. A what? If you want to understand Marge and this whole town, you have to understand about slide rules. Sit down. This will just take a minute. A long time ago, before the internet, before cell phones, before calculators, before you were born, the time of dinosaurs, people realized they didn't have enough fingers and toes to count everything. So, they invented something that does not use batteries, and that was called the slide rule. Oh. <laughs> 